Well, I uh, hope you'll forgive my pajamas. Um, I'm just sitting here uh, trying to respond to comments and things and, you know, people asking questions and stuff. And I was going to try and respond. It was just going to take too long. So uh, Richard DeSant Jr., I believe was the name, uh, asked about corn in the Bible. And I thought, okay, I'm just going to go ahead. And I haven't prepared anything. I've got some notes because I've looked into this stuff before. We'll see where this goes, but maybe some of you can get something out of this as well, too. This might only be five or ten minutes. I don't know. But anything that the Bible says, the King James Bible, is going to be questioned. So where the King James Bible says corn, of course, uh, people are like, oh, no, it's not actually corn. There was no corn in those days. Uh, the King James Bible is historically wrong. Uh, you have to doubt your Bible. It's actually uh, wheat or whatever, right? Well, look, let's look into some of this. Let's see what the Bible has to say. This is Luke, Luke chapter 6, verse 1. I'm going to try and read through my phone here so you can see it. And it came to pass on the second Sabbath after the first that he went through the corn fields. Now, of course, the experts will say, well, that's not couldn't be couldn't have been corn it was wheat and his disciples plucked the ears of corn isn't that what you do with corn so now what they're going to say that the word plucked isn't right <clears throat> the word ears isn't right as well as the word corn <clears throat> pardon me they plucked the ears of corn that's what you do with corn and did eat rubbing them in their hands. Now, some of these uh, eggheads in these colleges, these white-collar fools, um, they've never gone through a cornfield, which I've spent a lot of time walking through cornfields. Uh, my my wife was, was uh, I met her, right, she was raised on a farm, right next to a major farm that supplied <clears throat> lots of potatoes and corn and, and different things to the local restaurants. And I walked through the cornfields and I plucked the corn and I ate it right there. And you know what you do when you pluck, pluck the corn and you peel it? You rub them. Why do you rub them in your hands, Mr. PhD, who's never done this? Because there's stringy material on the corn and you rub it and it gets the strings off the corn so that you can eat it. Duh. Um, let's, let's read my notes here. It's just stuff I went through a while back. <clears throat> In C, D, theta, E, F, G, M, and those are, um, here's your Greek manuscripts and your, uh, your, uh, um, uh, I'm just trying to wake up. Um, your, uh, <clears throat> Your evidence, your manuscript evidence, that's the word I'm, words I'm looking for, the manuscript evidence for this being correct in 6.1. These, uh, these agree with the reading in the King James. See, it's not just something off in a corner. 90% of the cursives, and you, you'll have to look up maybe, you know, Sam Gipp explains a lot of this stuff, Gail Ripplinger does, the cursives are part of manuscript evidence. 90% of the cursives agree with the King James reading here. Only 10% disagree, and you can guess which ones those are. Um, and we've gone over rubbing, what the, the rubbing is. Uh, and, of course, raw corn is better than cooked corn, especially if you've had sweet corn. There's nothing, I mean, plucking corn in a field and eating it right there there's nothing unhealthy about that. There's nothing weird about that. Um, the NIV, New, New King James, so-called CEV, uh, New Living Translation, or New Dead L Translation, NASV, good news. They, um, they, they all stand against the King James Bible. Now watch this. I, I do a lot of reading. I do a lot of research. <clears throat> Pay attention to stuff from a King James Bible. In 2008, archaeologist Gunnar Thompson, you can write this down, found that Indian corn 
uh, was well documented in e Egyptian temples, tombs, and scrolls 3,000 years before Columbus. So where your Bible talks, your King James Bible talks about corn, 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 there's lots of, I think there's what, 200 references to corn? I, I don't know right off the top of my head. There's a lot of references to corn. And so they have a, a, a lot of places where they can try and bash the King James. But of course, God's a trickster and he makes fools out of men. And he kept some information hidden, some archaeological evidence hidden, so that they went and uh, committed themselves and buried themselves. And then in 2008, the Lord allowed archaeologist Gunnar Thompson to find evidence 3,000 years before Columbus that corn was... Uh, there was documentation of corn in Egypt. Now, let's go back to Amos. Um, book of Amos. So you got to study. you gotta, got to look this stuff up. There's The answer is in the Bible, man. The answer is in your Bible. You just got to find it. Let's start in uh, verse 5, Amos 8, 8, 5, saying, When will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn? Oh, that's got to be wrong. And, and the Sabbath uh, that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekel great and uh, falsifying the balance by deceit that we may buy the poor for silver and the needy for a pair of shoes, yea, and will sell the refuse of the wheat. Okay, so, um, let me get in my notes, because I honestly just scanned over them before I turned on my phone here. But you will notice that it reads both. So for them to say, well, no, the the, uh, the Hebrew word here was wheat. It wasn't corn. Well, then why did they say corn and wheat? Why was there a translation here of corn and one here of wheat? If the word was wheat, they would have said wheat and wheat and wheat. They wouldn't have said corn, wheat, and wheat. That's because there was a different word there, a different Hebrew word. Um, let me read the notes. Corn and wheat. And you can look up 2 Samuel 17, uh, verse 2. I think that, no, that's 28. Seven, 2 Samuel 17, 28, to see where both are used. Uh, also, corn of wheat in John 12, 24. Corn is sifted in a sieve. Let's see, 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay, let's look back at our Bible. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. For lo, I, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like as corn is sifted in a sieve yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth a grain of corn all right corn is sifted in a sieve or a sieve a sieve i think is how you pronounce it a combine tractor again if you're not sitting in a classroom you're out on a farm. I'm trying to get the light on here. A combine tractor does this. Uh, Wikipedia 2008. Combine harvester. And threshing machine, according 
to science. Uh, okay, a com combine harvester. And threshing machine, um, according to science. Let me hold my phone straight. Maize was in Mexico 9,000 years ago. It was around. Uh, science claims that archaeological remains of maize ears found in a cave in the OAXAKA Valley date back 6,250 years. <clears throat> Quote a, a sift, yeah, C8 and 9, where we saw it was sieved, sift, same word. <clears throat> um, not utterly not utterly destroy the house of Jacob for I will sift the house of Ishmael among all the nations in a sieve like 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 flour is sifted sifting uh, all the nations to sift out grain or Jews from the dispersion to bring them back see uh, 14 and 15 okay so you you kind of see what's going on here <clears throat> how do you deal with corn you sift it in a sieve and and even a modern uh combine tractor uses this method because that's how you deal with corn so the bible right here even if you're saying well what's the how's how's that word translated in the hebrew blah blah you don't have to worry about that because the context and the explanation within your Bible tells you the process that's used only with corn. That's not the process that's used with um, uh, with wheat in the same way. It's corn. And there's there's nothing wrong with that. So, um, okay, we want 12 minutes here, but I think that gives a, a, a basic, just quickie um, explanation on the corn thing. Corn is right in your Bible. There's nothing wrong with that word.